little different than all the rest. I'm quite old fashioned, wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling. But all complexions that I adore, so hard to find, they seem impossible to score. So I dream of. Quincy Emmy, and welcome back to my channel. So hey, today we're not doing a fashion moment. We're gonna do a little bit about the saint makeup. And the theme of this video is how to change up your saint makeup with a tan. So I went ahead for the Memorial Day weekend and decided to get myself a tan at the Organic Bronze Bar, okay, on Lancaster Highway in South Carolina. Um, in Valentine, which I love. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a whirl. I just wanted to get that that glow on. And um, I'll post a picture right here of me. You'll see that I am, this is a tan for me. <laughs> I am not a tan person. But uh, yeah, so what you need to do are just some basic things. And you'll be surprised to know that I'm not using Bella Bronzer in this. Yes, you can use Bella Bronzer or some of our other bronzers. But for me, the Bella Bronzer is, is just too red with my cool neutral skin. So I use some other techniques to just kind of maintain my tan. And I'm just gonna talk to you about them. Yes, I do my eyes in this video just so you can get um, kind of a pretty look that goes with this, <laughs> this blouse. And, and it um, has a lot of gold shimmer in it. So the gold shimmer looks so well with a tan, and um, so I just wanted to share that part of it with you. But um, I'm going to talk about um, basically, and I'll talk about it again as soon as I start the tutorial, but just to be clear, I will be starting it off with only a few things on my skin. My basic skin um, care, which includes serums and tretinoin and moisturizer. And I'm gonna do some different things, things that maybe they will tell you not to do other artists. But um, if you follow me, um, you may be in your 40s and 50s and your skin may not be T-zone, it may be more of towards the drier side. And I'm gonna tell you what works for me and what, what works well. And so just getting right to that, um, what I did is I mixed, um, Two things that I like. Okay, so this is the Australian Gold Botanical 50 Tinted Face in the medium. Okay, I, you know, this being May being Skin Cancer Awareness Month, you're supposed to use a teaspoon on your face. So, you know, don't don't go light. <laughs> and I've tried just wearing this. Wasn't happy. I thought the application looked a little too heavy. Yes, this does contain silicone in it. But when your skin gets a little older and a little drier and you're using things like tretinoin and peels and things like that, the silicone does not mess with the same makeup with my skin and that's what I found. So the other thing I mixed it with, and you can see I use this a lot, is the Super Goop Glow Screen. So that was my sunscreen protection for my face and neck. And then of course, you know, I use other things on my arms and legs and body and everything. But what I did is I mixed equal parts of these together and I really like what I saw and you will see it um, as soon as we get to the tutorial. Um, so I did that and of course I had my Lashify on and my lash uh, map is Curl 14, 16, 16, 14. And um, yeah, I just wanted to take you through this. I am teaching today. I have a busy schedule. I worked all weekend on my photography. Um, and then this morning I had the fun incident of squirting myself in the eye. Well, I didn't squirt, it's not a spray. It's one of those gel ones with the holes in it. So I dropped it, so it hit like this and it squirted up my eye and my eye was like all red, but 
hey, the show must go on. <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I do. So um, this will involve more of how I mix my highlight or foundation colors um, and my use of illuminator to kind of really pump up the volume on my tan and, and, and to not look like I have a white face, that my neck and my face match. And if you look at it right now, it really does. So I did a good job with that. And it, it involves using a lot of mango more than you would usually use. And then like mixing in to your deeper skin tone and a little less of your highlight and super highlight, but still using them a little bit. Okay, so I'm so excited um, to get started with this. And um, hey, I hope you really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, beautiful women. Well, I feel like it's been ages since I've done one of these tutorials. Um, for several reasons. Um, I've been doing a lot of the fashioning, but I did have an accident with a um, crepe myrtle pruning it. And um, you can see right here, you'll see a little scar that's still healing and one up in here. Um, it's, it's getting fainter and fainter, so I hope it just goes away. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it got the best of me. I think I'm gonna leave I'll leave a, lot, leave a lot of that to the pros <laughs> in the future. And, um, <clears throat> and then if you see me winking at you a lot today like this, it's because I dropped my antiperspirant. It was one of those gel ones. It fell like on the bottom of the bottle, like hit like this and it flicked up and hit me in the eye. And I rinsed my eye and rinsed my eye and um, it's still like really irritated. I called up my eye doctor, but I think they're busy. Um, being the Tuesday after Memorial Day. <clears throat> so anyway, let's get down to it. I just wanted to um, alert you to a few things <laughs> that have been going on. But I did get a spray tan on Thursday, and um, I just thought it would be a good idea to just kind of go over the whole Saint look and kind of catch you up with what to do if you get a spray tan and how to adjust your makeup. So normally I'm wearing highlights such as Sandy, Candlelight, Versailles, sometimes Linen, Versailles, Linen, Linen, Versailles. Um, but when you, when you get a tan, you need to, um, at least for myself, I need to mix a little mango in there. And I'm also gonna show you what I do. Now, when I get a spray tan, I get it at the Organic Bronze Bar, <clears throat> and they actually give me a face thing, because what's happening with my face is I'm putting all these serums, um, tretinoin, all these things. But they're, it's just my face is just going to peel within like a few days. So I have this that I can keep putting on to have that little like tan look. But my arms are pretty tan for me. Like I'll show you a picture of me. I'm not a tan person. So this is a tan <laughs> for me. And, and maybe many of you are like that. So, um, but with that all being said, let me tell you what's on my face. Um, I'm going to start with the eyes as usual, but I want to just tell you what I'm wearing right now because I've, um, you know, made some different discoveries probably since I've last spoken to you. <clears throat> so I'm wearing my serums, my moisturizers, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I'm, and I usually wear my Alta MD or my Super Goop Glow Screen. But I just kind of wanted to change and play a little. And I've used this before, before they had shades. And this is the Australian Gold Botanical 50 um, Tinted Face Sunscreen. It's a mineral sunscreen. Okay, so, but now it comes in the tint medium. And I thought, well, I really want my skin protected, especially for um, going out. You know, I, you know, I wore a full hat and you'll see that in another video and everything. And I was sunscreened up, let me tell you. So this on itself, was a little heavy. I felt like my makeup was a little heavy, but um, when I mixed it with something else, I really, it, it brought luminosity to it and I felt like it worked well under my 56 year old skin. Yes, this does have some silicone in it. If you're younger, if you have oily skin, this may not work for you. Try a different tinted one, but it's more of a, a matte tinted. And then this 
super goop glow screen is not. It's just glowy and if you like that dewy look, what I did is I mixed um, equal parts together in a teaspoon as they um, recommend. And I know you know this is May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and it's still May. So hey, you know, slip, slop, slap and make sure you get that sunscreen on. But I really like what it did for my skin. I'm gonna give you a close up look at it right now. Okay, so that's just my moisturizer and the sunscreen. And I think it gives me a nice luminous look. And as you see, I have eyelashes on. So I'm wearing the Lashify in the curl in the 14, 16, 16 lash mask. Okay, so I have to teach class soon. <laughs> so let's just get rolling with this, okay? This tutorial. I can kind of finish it off after class, but I just at least would like to get my makeup on <laughs> before I show up on camera. Um, don't want to scare the little, 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 little guy. <laughs> All right. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to use my MAC Paint Hot Primer. And I use this one. You can use a highlight, but I use this one because I uh, really need it for my photography work. So I am just going to put this on. It really holds my color in place when I have my eye up to the camera and I'm sweating. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right here. And I'm also gonna surprise you with something. You know, we don't really use primers, the highlights are so good, but since I've been working with this scar for a couple months, I put this right here. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit right here where my other like fading scar is. I'm also gonna take it, believe it or not, I'm gonna put it right here in my capillary. And now take a look at that scar. It's still there, but it's a lot lighter. And then I'm gonna go over it with the, the same powder. But um, this stuff having such stick and longevity, I gave it a try. It was like an experiment, but then it turned out working out for me. <clears throat> Pardon, I've got like a frog in my throat, but such is life. So now I'm going to take my um, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of vanilla dust and I'm just going to do a quick blend uh, just to put it on there. It's going to give me a better blend in the end. That's what it's going to do. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to dip into Lullaby and I'm actually going to contour my eyes. I'm going to do this at a fairly quick pace because I am pressed for time. And I, I just kind of want to show you. I'll try not to talk so much and show you. It's going pretty fast, even for a tutorials always take longer because you're chatting, 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 you know. Um, but what I've done here for my hooded eyes is I've gone to my natural crease, come down an acute angle, and then I bought it up here to create an illusion crease. Okay, can you see that? And now all of a sudden my eyes have a lot more depth. Okay, and you know, if you've got the, the falsies on, just shut your eye and, and just bring it up here like this. Okay, so see the, how, how high that is? But now I've got the illusion of a crease. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my blend brush. I am gonna go in to my as if, um, because I use that like a, like somebody uses brown. That's my neutral. All right, and I'm just gonna dot up here. Give myself a little color that to me feels neutral. Uh, if this isn't your neutral, just take, take your deeper neutral and do this. Okay, don't go too high, don't go too far out, especially if you're older, because uh, you take a look at that, see? You just really wanna pull it up. You wanna pull your eyes up and out, not to the sides, and um, then what I'm gonna do, because of this lovely, luscious um, plumeria, I call it magenta, raspberry, muted, pink, I am gonna dip straight in to Twanda. Okay, I'm gonna put that, which is a beautiful, like pink gold, I'm gonna put that right next to it, right next to the as if. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna do it in the other eye. All right, take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I, I love Twanda. Twanda is just so luscious. All right, so then I'm um, also going to dip in 
to some blondie now because Twanda has bits of gold. And I'm going to bring it right next to the Twanda. Don't let anybody tell you you can't wear shimmers if you're in your 50s. It's not true. I'm a photographer. It's not true. I do it all the time and it looks great. Just have a light hand. Don't overdo it. Okay. So then I'm going to come in with my uh, makeup detail brush and I'm going to dip into my drift. You got my drift? <laughs> all right. I'm funny. And I'm going to come right in here. Okay. The inner part of my tear duct, a little bit up. You see what I'm doing right here? Okay. Same thing on this side. You'll be able to see this side better. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to do something that I tell you not to do, but I don't really care. Um, dipping in a drift, I'm going to put it completely under my whole eyebrow. That's because I'm going to take an even brighter color and use that as my super kind of highlight under my eyes. See, a lot of this language is getting used over again. And so I'm dipping into Aries. Now watch, you see it's under my whole eye. When I put the Aries on, ooh, now I've got some real contrast going on. You know, when you're contrasty, go with it, make it work for you. And then I'm gonna come in and do it to my other eye too. Even though my fringe covers over it, it doesn't matter. It really helps a lot. Okay, so this was a pretty basic look, but it's so pretty. So what we're going to do is um, we're just going to jazz it up a little bit. And this is not going to take long. You can see it's not taking me too long either. I'm just taking another brush I have. I'm dipping into Meet Iha, and I'm putting it right up here in the corner on both eyes to draw some drama in here, a little drama attention. And then I'm going to give it a little wash here. Okay, so uh, before I do my eyebrows, look at that gorgeous color. You like that? I love it. So pretty. Okay, so never forget your eyebrows, ladies. And I'm going to come in with a little color under my eyes in a second. But let's just go ahead and do the eyebrows. I use coal for mine. Um, some other colors you can use are trust or oak if you have lighter eyebrows. But mine are, are basically black for all intents and purposes. This is so easy. All I do is follow the line of my eyebrow. Okay. I'm blowing it off a little bit because I just don't want to get too much. And I didn't go down here too much. And I'm going to just flip it over. I'm going to brush upwards. Okay. And a little more in the center. it up a little. All right, now I know, here, let me push my fringe to the side. Look at the difference. That is night and day, okay? This stays on all day, by the way. All right, let me do the other eyebrow. It's amazing. Okay, sometimes I kind of start at the middle and go to the end and then bring it in to the more bushier part of my eyebrow. And you can really, like, you know, define your shape with this as well. I thought I would include the eyes because I think this, this pink look with the gold is really pretty when you have a tan. But the eyes really aren't taking that long. So, and then here we go. All right, almost done. Gorgeous though. Isn't that pretty with a tan? All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that detailed brush. I'm going to bring a little bit of, I like a little color under my eyes. I'm going to bring a little bit of the as if under there, make it join up. You can see I'm almost creating like a little wingness <laughs> happening here. I'm going to do it on the other eye too. You know, when you get to be a little bit older and um, you got a little wrinkle action coming up there, you don't really... It's very hard to draw like a, a straight line with a pencil. It gets very challenging, but you can still have a beautiful eye look. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab some eyeliner for my inner tear duct. And this should be really fun since I just burned my eyes with deodorant. <laughs> or reimbursement, whatever. Um, we'll see how this works out. But <clears throat> I'm going to actually um, 
take this Oh My Gold, Marc Jacobs, and I'm just going to do the inner part of the tear duct. And I like this because I, I think it makes my eye like look brighter. I don't know, you tell me, what do you think? I like it. All right, and do the same thing right here. Okay, so now that I've completed that, not too bad so far. So far I'm hanging in there. <clears throat> Still a little woozy with the eyes. And now I'm gonna take my Stila All Day Jet Black Liquid Liner and I'm just gonna do a very thin line under my eyes that kind of, kind of mimics my limbo ring and I'm gonna stop talking when I do that. Okay, do you see how easy that is and how fast that was? And it really does <clears throat> make this eye look bigger. It may work on you and it may not, but give it a try. This is what makeup is. It should be fun, experimental, and see what works best with your eye shape and your face shape. Then let me do the other eye. And see how I flip? If I was holding this like a pencil, I would be here all day trying to get this on. I shouldn't even be talking. But. I am talking and you'll see that it worked out. Oh my goodness, I have to shut my eyes for a second. <clears throat> that was better. <clears throat> um. I rinsed my eyes out so much with eye drops that I think it's like going down my throat too. Isn't that lovely? But um, it's just a thing that happened this morning and I really wanted to do this video uh, for you. All right, so I just want to put a little bit of mascara on my uh, the bottom of my eyes. Uh, my friend gave me this tool, my friend Mary Lee, and I think it's fantastic, especially if I have to apply it to someone else. So I'm just gonna get like up close and personal so I can kind of look what I'm doing at camera. But I'm using the regular Unlimited today. I worked all weekend. I had shoot um, last night and the night before, and I was out there for hours shooting, and I, I want to give my bottom lashes a break. So this is the regular formula, not the waterproof, but if I'm shooting photography, I am wearing the waterproof. Now, um, one thing, if you do get any mascara underneath, just take your eyebrow brush. I've got a tiny little speck right there. As soon as it dries, and it comes off. Okay, so there you go. Let me center myself again. So, all right, so there, there's our total eye look. Take a look at that. Isn't that pretty? I shut my eyes. I shouldn't have done it that soon, but it's gorgeous, I think. And let me take a look. Yep, shut my eyes too soon. But, we'll just take that off. Okay, we're good as gold again. All right, so now, um, we're going to get going with just doing the makeup. And this is the most important part. And what you're not going to see me do, surprisingly enough, is I'm not going to use Bella Bronzer. You could, can use Bella Bronzer. I'm not going to because um, I just, I'm just not that tan, okay? That's basically the deal. All right, so what I'm doing first is I'm going to take my uh, blush and bronzer brush. I'm going to do, go with a really light hand and dip into the mango. Okay, and I'm just gonna apply this all over. Often if I'm having a good skin day, I don't use mango at all. Um, but, and I am having a good skin day, but because I have a tan, I need a little more of that color base coming in. Okay, and. All right. All right, and you see I'm pouncing, it's a pouncing motion. Okay, I think I've gotten that everywhere. So now I'm gonna dip into mango and I'm gonna dip into sandy as well. Okay, what do we call that? Sango? <laughs> I don't know. And kind of, this will take any of the orange kind of toned out. And you see I'm pouncing, it looks like I'm doing something in high speed, but I'm really not. I've just been doing this for so long that I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go straight into the sandy now. 
Okay, I'm putting it kind of where I'm about to put the candlelight and a couple other places around my lips. If you have lines in your lips, make sure when you come in with your perfector that you make that funny face. But I think I've got a really good coverage right now. I'm looking satiny. So I'm gonna go right into the candlelight. So the whole trick was to, to like mix the mango in, in like by itself with the sandy, the sandy alone, and just build up your, your coverage very slowly. And I'm gonna go big with the illuminators too. So I went down my nose, I went on my chin. Don't know how that got pink there. Anyway, so now it's time to take the perfector and kind of hit all those areas. See what I'm doing here? Because I don't want um, any weird creases I'm getting in here. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna take a little bit of the candlelight just with my fingers, just to hit. I have a little darkness in here. I, it's between allergies and working pretty hard this weekend, I think. I worked hard in my gardens too. So I'm just gonna hit that, hit that again with the perfector. And I also like to just take a little bit of Angel Illuminator. I put it like right here. I'm doing it one hand and I usually just take two hands and it's done and over. And I put a little right here just to bring out a little twinkle on my skin and my eyes. And it really does work. I like the angel for that. Okay, so I've blended that in. So now I'm gonna go right into my contour, which I'm still using ash, and blend right in there. Um, I'm going to start from the side here and just blend in. I, I still feel even with a tan that sometimes Astoria does just pull to yellow on me. Okay, so I found my cheekbone and I'm blotting. Can you see that I'm pouncing? So instead of using like lots and lots of candlelight as a base and, and just using a little bit of mango, I, I went mango, lots of sandy, a little bit of candlelight, okay? And I'm still getting the same effect, but in a deeper way. Now I'm gonna hit the jawline, okay? And I like to come up like this with my face shape. I come on either side, okay? And then I come up here and come up here to make my chin jut out. Then I flip it over, okay? I go under my lips, kinda of hard to talk and do that. Okay, and I'm gonna blend that in, don't worry. And then I'm gonna take the other side too and I'm gonna go right down my nose. This is like a new brush, so it's not like that pointy. Not as pointy as I'd like it. And I'm gonna stay away from that scar. I'm gonna come up pretty high, but not too high. Um, just having it for a few months, I know what it can take and what it can't take, and I already kind of covered it. All right, so then I'm definitely dipping right into the Vers Versailles and I'm making a white line down my nose. I'm dipping into the Pearl Illuminator and I'm making a white line down my nose. I'm gonna come back in, just make sure I've got enough darkness. And I mean, you can always go back over this. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my perfector and blend all this contour, okay? And last but not least, I'm gonna go in for the nose. You see how I straight pat? I don't move that a lot. I want that to stay where it is. So I'm liking that. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so let me grab the brush again. So can get a little more on there. Okay. A little closer. I mean, the closer you get it and the smaller the white line, the more aquiline less buttony, your nose will look. And I just dip, dipped into both. So now that's even thinner. Again, pat, pat, pat. Okay, one more little bit of the pearl. Okay, so now I'm going straight into the lip and cheek. I'm going to use the plum. 
I'm going to double dip. I'm using the buff brush and I'm going to dip the top part of it into Summer Love. And I want to talk to you about that. Look at how I'm going to place, look where I'm going to place my blush. I feel like I've got a little hair here. Hold on. Oh, now. <laughs> Usually, it just, sometimes they come off my brushes. All right, right here. Now look, I'm placing my blush up here. This is kind of a, a newer thing for me. But I think I've said before, I've gotten comments on how high my cheekbones were and what beautiful bone structure I have. And I would hand the ladies a card afterwards. I say, well, it's a little bit me, but it's a lot to make up. Look how high this is. It's not here, it's not here, it's not down here. It's high. It's really creating the illusion of a higher cheekbone. And I'm blending it in now. All right. Okay, so let's just, um, I'm gonna flip to my next page. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just set it off with a little bit, if I can get this open, I'm trying to hold something in one hand. And I'm gonna take out the rose gold. I'm gonna dip the bottom of my perfecter into it. Okay. And here we go, right on the top of my cheek. Do it again on this cheek. Okay, and it just gives me that beautiful glow. I'm also, because I have this pretty blouse on, I'm gonna dip into the rose gold again. I'm gonna come straight up to the camera and I'm gonna hit my collarbone here. And here, it's just gonna look so pretty, especially in the summertime. So the rose gold is so warm, it really helps when you have a tan. And then I'm just going to, because I just put all that on, I'm gonna go back in and just make sure that I'm satisfied with the amount of uh, blush that I'm wearing. Do a little bit dot here, a little dot here, and then be sure that it's joining up with my contour here. And then I'm gonna lightly Grab my perfector. A little more here. Oops. Hold on. I think my mic just popped. No, it didn't. Okay. And then I'm just going to lightly blend this. Okay, there's two things you could do here. You could spray some stay spray for your very glowy parts and dab that on, or you could just powder it all in. For the sake of time, I'm just going to powder it in and then we're going to be done. So again, with the blush and bronze brush right here, um, I am just going to grab my palette and powder all around. And you'll see the last place that I powder, because it's just so light, get under my eyes a little bit, is going to be, you know, where it's very glowy. And it's still glowy. And if you want, you can... <laughs> You can still go over that a little bit to get a little more, but look at that beautiful, you know, lit from within glow. I love that. All right, I am going to line my lips with Smashbox um, Deep Mauve. I'm not going to talk when I do it. I love the Smashbox. If you have fine lines around there, nothing's your um, lip and cheek are not going to get out. So I'm going to flip this to the very last level, and I'm going to hit um, the Dahlia, okay? And then I'm going to hit the Black Cherry, and I'm going to come in here and just apply. Okay, so that's a mix of the two, because I find the Dahlia to be so dry. All right. Then I'm going to take just straight into the black cherry, which looks like, I mean, it looks really dark, but it's not. And um, look at that. Here, look, let's see. Hmm. All right, look at that. Look at that nice gloss that it gives my lip. Okay, you can't beat that. Okay, so that's really pretty. And if I want to just pump it up a little lighter, to, I should have had a tissue here, to match a little more of, just take a little bit of summer love. Yeah, like that. 
just to get it a little closer to my shirt. And here's the last trick I'm going to show you for my lips. I am going to um, dip in to um, my blondie. And I wish it, like I said, I had a tissue, but I don't. And time's almost up here. And I'm going to put it right in the center of my lips. And I'm going to do this. And if I had a tissue, I'd do this. I'll just like wipe all this off and have some. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have a little bit of red hands. I'll go wash my hands before class. But anyway, beautiful women. Okay, this is the final look. Am I doing for time? I've got five minutes. <laughs> it's hard to talk through a tutorial and actually do it kind of fast um, because you're trying to teach people things. And uh, but yeah, I love that look. Let me fix my fringe a little bit. Look at that beautiful let some women look. Look at see my tan. <laughs> Um, and, and it just, it does, it looks so natural with a tan. So just, just, you know, to recap, you want to intensify with your mango. You want to kind of mix your deeper colors and mix your mango then with your sandy or whatever your color is. And then use your brightener and super brightener, but use them really just like in your triangle of light here, here, a little bit on your chin. And then if you really want to go over, you're not feeling tan enough, take that bell bronzer with your, with your um, uh, B2 brush and go in there and just give yourself a little more glow. Um, it can't hurt. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. And that concludes the tutorial. All right, lovely ladies. Well, hey, I hope you like this final look. I want to... Um, get a little bit close again so you can get a good look at it. Look at my skin. Look at that lip from within glow. Look at what the Saint makeup does for me. It is so, so gorgeous. I mean, I feel like my skin feels like silk. It doesn't sit in my fine lines and wrinkles. And it is an occlusive agent. It holds the moisture in, which is good when you have a tan. Um, of course, in this tutorial, I'll tell you a little bit about um, what they give me for my face because I am always using acids and peels and things like that um, as I should at my age I want that collagen going I you know I want to have it all happening um, so I'll incorporate that into my skincare uh, so I just want to say that you know I absolutely adore the Saint makeup I'll give you a little look inside my palette so you can see, um, you know, have a look at all those gorgeous powders, okay? And have a look at this luscious cream. I have three different highlights there, my contour, my illuminator, my lip and cheek. And of course, I use a triple decker. Um, you can do it with a double decker too, but I just, I love my triple decker. And um, that's what I was working with today. I was working with my new Saint brushes. They are just to die for, just absolutely gorgeous. They, um, you get so much bang for your buck with the double-ended brushes, and they really do the job well. And I included the eyes in, I guess, you know, to show you how beautiful it looks, you know, with the golds and everything. Golds do pop up the pan. That's why I use the Rose Gold Illuminator. Um, and I use the angel in here, a little pearl in here. But um, yeah, I really, really love the Saint makeup. It's been a game changer for me. And you know, simplicity is the new sophistication. I want a makeup that I can put on in 10 minutes, that I can alter whether I want a natural look or a more glam look. Um, I want a makeup that's affordable, that has good longevity on my face, as well as in the palette. I want something travel friendly. I could go on and on, but Saint hits all the marks in all those areas, and it is so friendly to mature skin. I am 56 years old. This is my application. Once again, close up to the camera. Take a look at that, guys. Okay, I think this is looking really good. I have not had any work done. This is the makeup. I get compliments on my cheekbones. Um, I talked about how I was applying my um, 
looking cheek higher, uh, really working that contour to um, carve out my skin. And there's just so much to love about the Saint Makeup. So hey, if you would like to purchase the Saint Makeup, there are two things that you can do. In the description below this video, okay, you will see two links. And one is Want a Color Match. So if you click that link, it will go straight to me. I'll get you all set up with a professional color match and you can get started and purchase your Saint Makeup. And then the other link is Want to Shop. If you click Want to Shop, you will be presented with the Saint's three different collections and eight different levels. Um, you can also purchase it separately. I want to be very transparent with the pricing. You get so much. This makeup is so affordable. But hey, click that want to shop and what they've created are these levels. And so if you see an image of a woman, you're like, oh, that is my complexion. That's totally me. You can go right in and buy that palette all ready for you. Um, you know, I think one comes with one brush and one comes with like two brushes. And it's just the perfect way to get started. And of course, you can add extra lip and cheeks and eyeshadow, whatever you want to do. Um, so, hey, <laughs> it's just so easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do just to make it even easier is I'm going to show you a quick one minute video where you get to see the, um, the three different collections, their prices and um, what the collections look like and how they match with the different women's skin tones. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to play that and I hope you enjoy it. hope you enjoyed that quick little video. I hope you found it informative. Hey, if you have any questions, just uh, write them in the comments. I check all my comments. Feel free to DM me. Um, either way, whether you click uh, want to color match or want to shop, I will be your artist. I will be here to help you troubleshoot. I will be here to help you change your makeup seasonally, just like I did today. I'm usually all about wearing more candlelight, less sandy more Versailles, more linen. I'm, you know, light and everything. But when swimsuit season comes, and you can see that I weight lift and I want my abs and everything to show off. So a little spray tan goes a long way and I enjoy it. I get it done a few times a year and um, you may do it too. And you may do it just for yourself or you may go get a spray tan. But whatever you do, I want to show you how to adjust up your makeup so that it matches your neck, that you look even, that everything looks even, okay? And that you have that beautiful lit from within glow that you can only get from the Saint makeup. All right, um, I just adore Saint. And hey, so if you like content like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. That way, when I make a new video, you'll be notified and you can watch it right away. And hey, it was my pleasure um, to do this for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. And again, this is on National Skin Cancer Awareness Month for a little bit longer. Don't forget to slip, slop, slap and put that sunscreen on. And I want to thank all my subscribers. I'm up over 2,000. Please keep clicking that subscribe button. And I love you all. And I hope you have a beautiful week and weekend. 
And with that being said, always remember to live your life passionately. A little different than all the rest I quite old-fashioned where I had sometimes played chess And when I 